Today, we're going to build an outbound phone calling agent using VoiceFlow's Voice AI. We're gonna use no code using Make as an automation platform, and we're gonna use Google Sheets as a CRM. Well, a lightweight CRM. It's just going to have the name and the phone number of the person we wanna call, and when we update the sheet, it will initiate the outbound call automatically. The best way to think about today's tutorial is it is a template because you can hook up Salesforce, HubSpot, and many other types of automations in the very same way that I'm gonna hook up Google Sheets today. So while this is gonna be a simple example, I hope it's the foundation for building incredible outbound uh, phone calling automation on VoiceFlow. Let's dive into it. All right, here we are on our VoiceFlow dashboard. Just a heads up, if you're watching this in about two weeks, it's gonna have a new dashboard, it's got a new look, uh, but the tutorial is still going to be the same. So let's go ahead and start building this from scratch. If I go ahead and hit new agent, I'm gonna say uh, outbound caller. And it's gonna start us off with just a basic agent template. So there it is right there. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and close that down. Now I need a outbound calling template. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate one. I'm gonna say, uh, I need an outbound calling uh, agent for a uh, bot called Tico. Okay, so the bot doesn't matter too, too much. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and run with that. I'm gonna turn the tokens up a bit just so it can be a little bit more conversational. Okay, so that's our basic voice flow bot. I'm gonna go ahead and pu publish this now. And then we're gonna get started on the actual phone automation. Connor's gonna speed this up. Connor's our editor. Thank you, Connor. Okay, great. So we're done publishing. There it is. Voiceo says, take your agent live. Uh, we are building a phone agent though. So we're going to go ahead and import a number. Voiceo today supports uh, Twilio and Vonage. Actually, sorry, Vonage is coming soon. I've seen the future because I know our roadmap, but uh, Vonage coming soon. Uh, today, we just support Twilio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Twilio and you can see I've got this open as well. Our amazing editor is going to hide everything that is sensitive here. And this is just our Twilio dashboard. Uh, so you should see the same one if you go to console.twilio.com. I'm gonna copy our account SID. I'm gonna pop this, pop this in here. And we're gonna get the auth token as well. And we're gonna pop that auth token in there too. Okay, so we're gonna call this uh, outbound call demo. And now we need to go find the number that we want to use. So Voiceo has a lot of numbers, believe it or not, and a lot of these are going to be hidden for the same reason as we're hiding the other things. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in, hit import. Okay, so in this case, I already had the number uh, existing, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it. But the process we just did uh, is gonna be the same for you. It's gonna go ahead and successfully add the number. Now, I wanna choose the environment. In this case, I have production because I've already published. So my agent is uh, technically live, at least with the API, uh, but we haven't actually attached an interface like a phone number or a widget to it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assign it to production. Assign our number. And there it is, we have our phone number can now take inbound calls, which is great. But we haven't actually hooked it up to an integration yet, like Sheets or Make or anything to allow it to have outbound calls. So let's go ahead and do that. If we click on our outbound call API here on our phone numbers, again, this is in the integrations tab inside of our agent, or sorry, the interfaces tab. What you'll see is this curl API. Now, uh, if you're familiar with curl requests, it is a super simple way to work with APIs. Uh, but some softwares like Make don't natively use curl. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is show you how to essentially do like a low code version of this. So I'm gonna copy uh, this whole snippet and I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and I'm gonna say, uh, turn this curl request into the parameters for an API call, uh, HTTPS API call, same thing, but extra thorough. So I'm gonna put them to ChatGPT. Okay, great. So it just went ahead and broke it down for me. It's given me exactly what I need to do. Uh, so again, this is, if you're familiar with curl requests, great. 
Uh, you do not need to do this step, but if you're not familiar, this is a really simple way just to break it down for you. Okay, so now we are over here on make.com. This is gonna be the integrations platform we're using. It's a no-code integrations platform, essentially a way to hook up multiple services together. You could use Make, you could use Zapier, uh, there's N8N, there's lots of these different integrations platforms out there uh, to be able to connect together different softwares in a really low-code and easy way. So I'm gonna use Make. Uh, also, shout out to Make, they're voice low customers. We love them over there. So a bit biased. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Google Sheets. And what we are going to do is watch new rows. And so uh, what this uh, integration does on Google Sheets is when a new row gets added, uh, then it's going to go ahead and fire the uh, integration. So in this case, it's gonna fire off our outbound call. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do a uh, search by path, choose my drive. I've already connected my uh, Google Drive, but it should be fairly simple for you to do it. I'm gonna choose which spreadsheet it is. Outbound caller, so I've already gone ahead and made the spreadsheet. I'll show that off really quick. It's this one right here, it just has name of person and the phone, so super simple. And if we go back to make, I'm gonna do sheet name, call this call sheet. Table contains headers, yes, limit two. So uh, row contains headers just means like these are the headers. Uh, these are the things that are not gonna be included in the, new in, uh, in, the, in the integration, that's just for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I think we can do all. Okay, great. So now we wanna go ahead and add our API call. So I'm gonna choose HTTP and we're gonna do uh, make a basic API key auth request. The reason we're choosing this one is because voice load does require an API key. Uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and choose that. Now I've already gone ahead and set up uh, my key, but I'm happy to do another one just for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add key. And we're gonna call this uh, outbound call demo. Now I'm gonna go into voice flow and you'll see we have this API key section. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my key and I'm gonna put this into make. So the reason why it's being done this way is it's to keep your key safe. Uh, you don't wanna be showing it off all over the place. So uh, what we're gonna have is uh, in the header. Yes, that's where we want it. And then API key parameter name. This is really important. Uh, what you can actually see here is the parameter name is authorization. So we wanna make sure we add that. So I'm gonna call this authorization and I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Okay, so there is our key all set up. And now we just have to plop in uh, what ChatGPT has given us here from the curl. Remember it is a post. This is really important, it is a post call in the headers. Again, we'll go ahead and continue to just add this. Uh, it's content type and application.json. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, put that in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab application.json. I could totally type that out, but it's a long day. I'm a little lazy at the moment. Okay, so body type, we are gonna go ahead and choose raw. And then content type, we're gonna choose JSON. So application slash JSON. Now in the request content, this is where you can actually see this in here. We have, this is the actual body of the request. So this is really important. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. Now on number to call, what we wanna add here is we wanna actually add in what we're getting from the Google Sheet. So you'll see here, Make's gonna go ahead and pull out uh, uh, some of the values that we're getting. I'm gonna go ahead and actually add one just so that we have it and call this Braden. Now, really important here, you gotta add the area code. Uh, the area code is gonna be uh, what allows Twilio to go ahead and make that call successfully. So make sure you add the area code. Now, when I go back into make, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the phone. Oh, I may have to refresh this here. Can we do a bit of a refresh to see the most, the latest and greatest on our spreadsheet? Okay, it should be fine. I'm just gonna do a phone B. Okay, now in terms of variables, we're gonna set that up in a second. I just wanna make sure that our call is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now we, have, we can set it to run every 15 minutes, but in this case, I'm actually gonna run it manually. Uh, just 
I can imagine this is probably how you might do it as well. Uh, every time you want to update the sheet, you want to do that on your own because if you're maybe not updating it in the middle of the night, there's no need to. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my scenario. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to add. In here, we also need to add a plus. This is really important. Uh, this, again, is for the area code. Uh, when I was trying it out, it was not working until I added the plus. So make sure you do that. Now when I hit run once, hmm. Ah, that was silly. I included the bracket or the uh, made a mistake there. We included the um, uh, the commas there. So now I can go ahead and save that again, and let's run it. Okay, great. Unknown caller. Hello, this is Kiko from VoiceFlow. How are you doing today? Great. So just like that, we have our outbound calling working, uh, which is awesome. So we want to get a little bit more personalized though. We want to actually pass in a variable uh, into the agent so that it knows who we're actually chatting with. And again, this is just a template tutorial. You can imagine this could be all kinds of information like the type of business they have, uh, maybe if they're a return customer, or a new customer, what product they're interested in, uh, all the types of data you can imagine you're capturing from other tools, you can pipe that into VoiceFlow. We're gonna go back into VoiceFlow here. And in our agent, we're gonna go ahead and say the name of the person you are calling is, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a name variable. Great, so what we wanna do is in make, I'm gonna turn this off to the access to knowledge base. So there is no knowledge base in this agent, just a very simple uh, single prompt. So in make, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna actually pass in uh, the, um, the name of the person. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new object here or add a variable. So I'm gonna just space for the sake of making this look a little bit nicer, have this name, and then this is going to be uh, the name of the person. So in this case, it's Brayden. Okay, so now we have the name variable added. Now what's really important is if you wanna add multiple variables, you're gonna do it by adding a comma. You don't have to add the spaces, I'm just doing it uh, to make it uh, all lined up. Um, now, you want to make sure you match the exact variable name that VoiceFlow has with the variable name here. So if you have something like maybe uh, a SKU they're interested in, you would follow this same format. You could pull it from the sheet. You could pull it from a different data source. That's totally up to you. In this case, we are only passing in the name though. So I'm not going to need that comma. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Great. And so now VoiceFlow is passing it over, uh, or sorry, uh, the Google Sheet, which has our name variable, which in this case is Braden is being passed into uh, uh, the outbound call request, which is being passed to VoiceFlow to make the outbound call. So now let's go ahead and republish our agent because uh, we just added the name variable into the prompt. And once again, our editor is gonna speed up the publishing process. Okay, great. So publishing is done. Now let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna add a new row and we're gonna uh, make, it, uh, make it run. So I'm gonna hit run once. Great. <clears throat> Connor, it's not working. Ah, okay, I see what we did wrong here. So we have to add the brackets around. Silly little mistake, but it uh, should work now. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a new row and we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna hit run once. There it is, I got my call. Chico. Hi Brayden, this is Chico calling from VoiceFlow. How are you doing today? So there we go. Now it's uh, we're passing in the data and the agent is actually saying my name, which is great. What I can do is I can either have it on manual mode or I can set it, uh, which is like this whole on demand, uh, or I can set it to do it, you know, maybe on a, a recurring basis. So you can imagine if you're using like Salesforce or a CRM, uh, or you can set up, you know, a custom event, like a new lead gets created, it automatically goes ahead and calls them. Lots of different ways to set this up using Make and VoiceFlow. The last step is I actually wanna make our agent sound a little bit better. So we're using uh, a stock 11 Labs voice right now. 
I actually want to show how you can use a custom 11 Labs voice. So if you're not familiar, 11 Labs is an awesome uh, text-to-speech startup. Uh, they do have voice cloning for custom brand voices, uh, and they have an awesome library of different voices as well. So uh, I've already signed up and I have a uh, basic subscription, but now what I can go ahead and do is... A business is only as successful as it's... That sounds pretty good. So we're going to go for this one. But the first thing I need to do is I'm going to act like I'm setting this up for the very first time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new API key. Uh, sure, lethal dingo, that sounds good. There's my API key, which our editor will blur out. And I'm gonna go uh, into VoiceFlow, into our settings. And we're gonna go into behavior, into voice. And we can actually connect to 11 Labs with our API key here. And now we can add a custom voice using the voice ID that 11 Labs gives us. So all I have to do is go back to voices copy this voice ID and we're gonna add this great so now let's go ahead and try our agent okay so I'm gonna publish really quick here we're gonna publish a new version with our brand new voice and then we're gonna try it out okay I'm gonna add one more row you can imagine this is the end of the day I'm uploading maybe all my Salesforce contacts uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it So that's it. It's a very sultry voice uh, for our agent, but uh, that's totally okay. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, we learned how to set up outbound calling, how to break down a curl request, how to set up make, uh, importing a phone number, lots of great stuff in here. Uh, and I hope this serves as a foundation for you being able to set up incredible voice AI outbound calling agents with VoiceLow. I'll see you in the next tutorial.